Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Esselamu aleykum ve rahmetullahi ve berekatuhu. Welcome to another podcast on risalenow.com. So brothers and sisters, today's topic is the four messages that the calamity carries. So in our daily lives, we do experience lots of difficulties, illnesses. But do they have a message for us? And if so, what are they? So number one, it is an ikhtar. It is a warning. The first message of affliction for some people is the message of warning. Allah sends these misfortunes to warn his servants so that they get back to their tracks again. It is pretty similar to what a shepherd does. So he throws pebbles to his naughty yet silly sheep if they are about to fall down from the edge of the hill. That little warning, maybe a little bit painful at times, just awakes them and saves their life. They return back to their owner happily. Quite similarly, many of us live through calamities in our life, many of which work like a wake-up call for us, a divine reminder or a warning for us. Number two, a kafara. The second message that tribulations carry is that Allah deletes sins of his servants. This illness or hardship of calamity turns out to be an expiation of sins. Number three, mindfulness or hudur. The third message of afflictions is there for us to disperse a ghafla, misguidance, and makes one aware of their ajz, inability and powerlessness and da'af vulnerability and weakness this message is if received well would help us be mindful of Allah's existence number four it is an upgrade a spiritual spiritual uplifting the fourth message is the message that illness could help one increase their spiritual level the receiver knows that he is Allah's servant and he endures this calamity patiently. His already good spiritual level goes up as he patiently endures. This may become a spiritually uplifting opportunity for the muttaqi, God-fearing people who are mindful of Allah. Be it a wake-up call for a loser, or an expiation and a reminder for a sinner, or an opportunity for those who know their Lord already, and accept anything that comes from him in all cases. Afflictions are a mercy from our Creator. If we know what message it conveys for us, we need to know. So illnesses are temporary visitors that stay with us for a short time, and they will leave sooner or later. However, one should not hurry to attack the visiting postman, i.e. the misfortune, that carries the message Rather, we should try to read what message he has to share with us. Let us read the unread messages, shall we? Thank you for listening. Now you can follow us on Facebook, join us on Twitter and Instagram. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.